Hang on, guys. Hi, guys. Bonjour, mes amis. I've got a recipe. Look, my board. I have plenty of time out there growing. I plant time every year to do uh, red beans and rice. I like to use my fresh thyme. That stuff is not... It doesn't smell anything like the thyme you buy at the store. It's a long story. Anyways, I have a lot of thyme left over. So I was looking up marinades and I found this recipe. Creamy lemon thyme chicken. So we're going to do this, all right? I'm going to put a link down below if you want to uh, go follow the instructions and all of that. I pretty much got everything on here. I got the heavy cream. I didn't even know I needed heavy cream. I hardly buy every cream, heavy cream, but I bought some. So we're going to do this. You guys ready? It's got five stars. Yeah. All right, let's go. Chin chin. So here we go. So I already did the first step that they ask. Uh, they're doing four chicken breasts. I'm only doing two because it's Tom and I. So they were thick. Pound them down so they, they're same thickness, okay? So the key to your chicken not shredding all apart, spray it with some olive oil on each side and then it won't like separate itself, okay? So I have a few videos where I do that, so hopefully you know that already. Okay, look. We're using the DeLonghi Multi-Fry. It's got a bottom burner. It's all good. So you're gonna have to flip your chicken halfway. That's the only difference, but I don't have to with this. Now, see how I sprayed this uh, gallon bag with olive oil, and I'm using the uh, regular pan, not the flat pan, because we're gonna make a sauce in there as well. And it has a paddle you can take out and put in there. So that's a nice feature. What is not a nice feature is they don't sell this anymore. Let me just spray just a little bit of oil there. Just a little bit. Olive oil, of course, with the Evo, where you at? Evo sprayer. Always listed down below. Okay, let's put some salt and pepper on each side. I'm gonna do one, I'll do the other one off camera. You don't have to see all that stuff. All right, you really don't. It's already oiled up, so I don't have to oil that, okay? Not too much salt, we try to cut down on salt in here. All right, so let me do the other one and I'll be back. So it tells you to do this in a pan for about seven, eight minutes. Highest, highest temp in my air fryer, that's where I'm going, number four. It'll tell you approximately about 375 or so, or 370, can't remember, it doesn't matter. Just put it up on the highest setting and if you see it's getting too dark too fast, then lower the temp, okay? We're not gonna cook this all the way, all the way because we're gonna add it back to the pan after all that stuff. So, highest setting, number four, bottom on. And uh, I'll let you know how long I do that, probably seven, eight minutes like they ask. A little update i'm gonna cook it all the way in the air fryer because the instructions tells you to finish it off in the oven with the sauce but i'm gonna cook the chicken until it's fully cooked and then we're gonna make the sauce and then add the chicken in there but it's gonna be fully cooked all right so right now i'm at eight minutes and i know it's not cooked all the way you can see and until i reach the temperature of 165 that's what i'm gonna pull it out so probably about 15 18 minutes somewhere in there okay we'll do that talking 17 minutes I'm gonna check it out always have a meat thermometer I'm telling you it's a must-have look at that 170 Let's check this one yep we're both done so let's take this out are you recording <laughs> that would suck oh let me shut it off too you don't want to put that paddle I'm gonna cover this with a tent a foil tent as they say even if you go over 165, I'm telling you that chicken's gonna be so moist, ridiculous. So here's that handy dandy paddle. Oh yeah. All right, so we got broth here. Uh, it looks a little bit yellow because I use dehydrated chicken uh, broth from Canada. So that's uh, a cup and a half. Now I can turn it back on. That paddle's gonna keep turning. If you don't have a paddle and all that jazz, just stir it up by hand, it's okay. Okay, so we have lemon zest here, which is, let me see what it says. It says a tablespoon. So I had a, a large lemon and I got exactly a quarter cup of lemon juice out of that and a tablespoon of lemon zest. So that's a quarter cup. I'm gonna put the link to the recipe so you can print it out and all that jazz. And this is a, an onion that uh, it says chop a third cup of it said finely chopped, but I put like a little bit thicker because it's, it's gonna disappear in the air fryer. 
All right, so then we have a garlic, two cloves of garlic. God, isn't that lovely? And I'm gonna be serving this over zoodles, squash noodles, or squoodles, I don't know, whatever. Went and got some time, first time. So that is, uh, what does it say? Two and a half teaspoons. So I got a good tablespoon of that in there. So you can use dry, but it, it says it on there. All right, so let's cook this up for how long do they want us to do that? I'm gonna leave it all up on high till the brown bits on the bottom of the skillet's gone. It's gonna get all the bottom stuff off there. Bring to a boil, so let's put it on the highest setting. 10 minutes until the liquid has reduced to a half a cup, all right? So I'm gonna do that for about 10 minutes. Guys, we're talking 10 minutes and I'm gonna call it done. We've got three tablespoons of uh, unsalted butter cubed at room temperature right here. Gonna make us a nice sauce, y'all. And a third of a cup of heavy cream at room temperature. Oh yeah. You gotta have half uh, heavy cream in your pantry. You could use half and half and all that stuff, but that, this makes for a nice sauce. So I'm gonna leave it the way it is, the highest temp, and that's gonna thicken up. That milk's gonna make it thicker, okay? So I'm gonna do this for, what does it say? It says three, four minutes, but I'm gonna do that for a little bit more. I'll let you know, we'll be back. In about 12 minutes, let's check it out, eh? Oh, that's beautiful, look at that. That is beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. Oh, so you don't want it too thick. You want it about the consistency of the uh, heavy cream. So I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit and then we're gonna plate it up for you guys. We'll be back. All right, you guys, here are my squash noodles. Squoodles. <laughs> That's why I wanted that sauce to be like perfectly uh, cooked. So I can pour that over there. Here's one of the big, huge pieces of chicken. This beautiful sauce. Let it cool for about five, 10 minutes. Look at that, that is gorgeous. Oh yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna put some time for a little bit of a presentation. I'm gonna take pictures and Dom's gonna try this. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. All right, so I'll be back. What'd you say? It looks good. Hi, everyone. There you go. Go ahead and try it. Grab This time, I'm letting you try whatever's beside the chicken. Grab some chicken, some zoodles, and wow. some sauce. Okay. Ooh. It's gotta be perfect, babe. I know we're making a video here. Show the people the chicken, how beautifully cooked that is. Nice. Okay. Make sure you get some of that sauce. Mmm. Good. Ooh, the zoodles are good too. What's this? Onion. Oh. Can you taste the thyme in there? Lemony? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Both? Mm -hmm. Very, very good. Very good? Yep. All right. Oh, you could do regular noodles, but why when you have 400 yellow squash growing out there, right? Right. <laughs> All right. So you like this one? Yeah. I like it's not it. my recipe. It's an online recipe. I like it. All right. So you guys, I'm going to put a link down below. You can go check it out. All the instructions and the tips that uh, this person put on there. And you're always out of frame when you're eating. You just don't care when you start eating. Don't it's you? too far away. <laughs> that chicken looks moist, by the way. It is. Cool. So you like it? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Well, there you go, guys. See that? If you don't have that paddle, don't worry about it. Just stir it once in a while, you know. Just get it the high temp so it thickens up. Let it sit for a little bit. You're supposed to finish this out in the oven. But when you don't have an oven, you know, you have an air fryer, you can do it. All right. You guys, say goodbye. Everybody. All right. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.